All right, legends, it's getting to that time of day again. It's nearly two o'clock. We've still got a few hours left of driving in the day. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get dinner ready. So for that two or three hour drive we've still got left to do, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook a meatloaf in our travel buddy. So I've got a few standard ingredients. I've got some frozen mixed veggies, peas, corn, and carrot. I've got some seasoned stuffing mix. I've already chopped up an onion. Doesn't have to be <laughs> I was getting <laughs> Sorry about your legs. Um, you want to go again? Yeah, just keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I've got two eggs. I've already pre chopped an onion, and we've got two 500 gram packets of pork and beef mince. To be honest, you can use beef mince, you can use whatever you want. That's all. So, First up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fry off the veggies along with the onion. What we're trying to do is get rid of any of that moisture that might come out of the veggies or the onion just to try and reduce how much liquid is gonna be in there when we're cooking it. So for you that don't know, I don't carry a fry pan with me. All I carry is my Offer Adventure camp oven. I use the lid as a fry pan and I use the base obviously as a pot or whether I'm cooking on a fire. It reduces weight and one item does absolutely everything. So we'll go through, get the induction cooker going. Put a bit of olive oil spray on there. All right, onion in first. Mixed veggies now, I'm not measuring anything, just wing it. As long as everything that you cook along with the mince is gonna fit into the tin that you're trying to put it in. I'm using just the standard loaf tin that I'd normally cook a damper with. So you can hear them sizzling away already. As I said, all we're trying to do is just fry off some of the moisture that's gonna come out of it, that's all. The more moisture that you have in this meatloaf, the harder it's gonna be, that's all. We'll go through and show you. We've done the standard half an hour preheat on the Travel Buddy. So what I've got is a short tray, so I'm actually gonna put the loaf tin in that tray. So if we get some juice that's gonna flow out, while we're driving along, I'm not gonna end up with a mess in the kitchen, that's all. All right, so we've given everything a little bit of a brown up. We've reduced most of that moisture. You can see the steam coming off the pan. just to try and caramelize everything a bit. That is about it. So I got my one big mixing bowl here. Everything in there. Can go straight in. Next thing we got, seasoned stuffing mix. Same thing, I don't really have any measurements for you. Just go with the flow. I'm gonna put in uh, probably half to three quarters of a cup. Mince, I'll put the eggs in last. I don't want the eggs to start cooking on that hot. Veggies. Two packs of mints, a little bit of salt and pepper. So what we're gonna do for the seasoning side of this too, later on in the segment, once we get to camp, I'm actually gonna make a barbecue and Worcestershire glaze for it. 
So for the first part that I'll run through with you is we actually cover the meatloaf, stick it in. Then for the last 45 minutes, once it's done, we take the uh, alfoil off and we'll put the glaze on top and it'll caramelize everything and turn out an absolute ripper. All right, everything's in now, it's the messy part. So what we want to do is go through, mix all of this together, make sure it's well mixed. If need be, put a bit more of that stuffy mix in. Good old meatloaf, you can't go wrong. We got a bit of a plan for the leftovers as well. So if there's some left over after night, I'll uh, show you what we've got planned for the leftovers. So I'm gonna chuck a bit more of that seasoning in. Mix it all up. So meals like this are, are great. You're talking 20 minutes to pull over, if that, on the side of the road, get it done. I'm expecting this is gonna take around three, three and a half hours to cook. So if you can do it, when you've still got a bit of uh, driving left to go, by the time you get to camp, your dinner will all be ready. We're just gonna crank up a little fire tonight and just roast some sweet potato and some potatoes on the fire. So you can see with that, that consistency, it's kind of holding itself. That's kind of what you want with that stuffing mix. Let's go through, wash my hands quickly. So, we'll get our loaf tin. Time to get everything in there. Hopefully it all fits. Beautiful. What you want to do once it's all in there, you want to pack it all in. Nice and tight. You want it touching the edges all the way around. We're meeting up with some friends tonight on the Bunda Cliffs, so we're cooking a bit extra for dinner tonight. That's a kilo of mince in there, so it should well and truly feed all the crew. That's us, we're done. So what we're gonna do is go through, we'll do some alfoil on top. So you are gonna get a bit of liquid, so what I'm gonna do halfway through this cook, we'll stop and I'll spin it around and I'll also get it out and tip out as much liquid as I can out of it, that's all just to try and reduce it, otherwise it'll start to sort of stew itself in there while it's cooking. Get the alfoil on there, just tuck it all up in the edges. Seal that on as much as you possibly can. All right, we're on. So travel buddy, I get it set at 200 and I've got it on run, so it'll just run consistently. Get this sucker out. Get that one straight in sit it in the tin. All this bottom tin is just to try and catch any juice that might come out while we're driving. That is it. We're done. So I reckon it's gonna be about three hours to cook. So we'll give you a bit of an update once it's done. So in an, in an hour and a half, we'll pull it out, turn it around and keep going. Then we've got another probably 45 minutes to half an hour at the end once I do the glaze. So I'll be back with you for the rest of it. All right, 
right, we've finally made it to camp. It's three hours, the meatloaf has been in the travel buddy for, and I can tell you what, I opened the other side of the canopy before and I could smell it. It smells unbelievable. So the next step we got is to get the glaze ready. Now, same thing, no real measurements. It's basically one third Tommy sauce, which will give it a squirt. Two thirds of barbecue. To give it a good old, good old whack of barbie sauce in there. Worcestershire. Give it a good squirt. And I've just got raw sugar here. So we'll do one tablespoon of raw sugar. So what this is gonna do is just, we wanna caramelize the top of it and put a bit of color into the meatloaf. So jet boil fired up. And all we wanna do is just quickly heat it up just to break down that sugar that's in the glaze and mix all the ingredients together. I need a lot of heat in there. Shouldn't take too long to get this up and running. Perfect job for the cooking of the way drink. So tonight we're camping on the Bunda Cliffs. And <laughs> a little bit, little bit breezy, you blow a dog off a chain at the moment, but the wind's meant to be dying down soon. done. Heat that section up. I'll grab it out of the travel buddy now. Make sure. So it wasn't too bad. We had a little bit of juice spill out, but I had that second tray underneath. So it wasn't too bad. And here we go. Looks awesome. So what we want to do now is get this glaze poured all over it. Then we want to stick it back in for about half an hour to 40 minutes with no alfoil on top. And what that's going to do in the glaze with all the sugar, it's all going to start to caramelize and get a bit of color into it. So that's it, you can see the glaze in there. We're going back in 30 to 45 minutes. And what we might do with the back of that oven being hotter, we might give it sort of 15, 20 minutes, pull it out, spin it around, try and make sure that it cooks and gets everything nice and even. Right, guys we're almost done time to pull the meatloaf out of the travel buddy so it's been in there now for in all honesty four hours that's all so we did another 45 minutes to 50 minutes with the glaze and I spun it around halfway through and I can tell you why this thing smells unbelievable now one thing I can tell you doing the extra tray in the travel buddy was a winner that's all because we did get a fair bit of juice check that thing out you can see the glaze in there and now it's all caramelized and started to brown up now we've got some special guests with us tonight too we've got uh brendo and his partner sabrina here with us now brendan's about to join the core off-road team so Brendo, as long as you're happy, mate, you might be able to be our uh, our taste tester for this meal. So everyone, this is Brendo. 
You'll be able to talk to him soon on the phone at uh, Core Off Road, so he's joining the team. Him and Sabrina have been travelling around Australia for the past oh, eight, nine months or so now, yeah. Yeah, since August, yep. So, few few phone calls. This is what we have to do to recruit new staff, is actually come out to the Bunda Cliffs and go camping with them. Absolutely. To get them on board, <laughs> that's all. So, Brendo, give us two secs, mate, and we'll dish it all up for you. So that glaze, and what I did was, I quickly whipped the barbecue out and I've roasted up some potato and sweet potato in the Weber. I'll go through, I've got a bit of sour cream here to put on top. On top of the spud. A little bit of cheese on top of the potato and let that melt in. Now, Brendo, you're gonna be the taste tester for us, mate. I'm spoiled. Absolutely spoiled. That's a home cooked <laughs> meal out in the bush. You literally cannot go wrong. <laughs> cannot go wrong, mate. You All let right. us know if we're on a winner or not. Let's see. It's gonna be piping hot too, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Good travel buddy meal or what? That's not bad. That's not, not bad. bad. Yeah. Look, I rate that. I think that's a win <laughs> anyway. Meatloaf in the travel buddy. As long as you're organized, you can cook an unbelievable meal in the 12 volt travel buddy. Bit different to a pie and a sausage roll, isn't it, mate? Much better. Much and, uh, better. I think that's a that's a tick from <laughs> Brendo anyway. He's off with the play. All good guys, thanks for tuning in.